season two of Raising Rainbow. I'm your host, Jeremy Ryden, and this channel is 100% committed to encouraging, empowering, and enlightening the LGBTQ plus community. A big shout out to everyone that joined us on our journey last season. And if this is your first time, being here on Raising Rainbow, go check out the other episodes. There are awesome interviews. There's great content that are sure to warm your soul and empower you uh, already on this channel. And a thank you to Corporate Hippie Connection, our sponsors that help us get the message of universal love, higher love, higher consciousness out to the world. So I'm so excited to begin this second season. Now, some of you are like, man, you're kind of going casual today, uh, uh, Uncle Jer. A lot of people call me Uncle Jeremy. Uh, well, I just got back from the gym, and so I'm in my gym clothes, and I'm shooting this because we're gonna talk about something very important uh, in raising your consciousness, in raising your vibration, in raising uh, you know, the rainbow, and that is your physical health, your physical health. And uh, don't shut the channel down if you're, if you're, you know, sitting on the couch and eating potato chips. I'm not here to preach at you, uh, you know, but I am here to tell you that many, many LGBTQ plus souls, individuals struggle with their health. Uh, you know, I was just watching uh, the other day where a chiropractor said that many gay people come in with lower back problems or, or shoulder problems and this is because of a lifetime of not feeling like they belong. When you don't feel belong, you shrink back. You kind of kind of go down, keep your head down, and your posture. You see someone's confident, their chest is up, their head is up, they're looking at eye level. But if you look at a lot of younger LGBTQ that have not been empowered, that have not been enlightened, that they are an awesome, awesome soul, here to express their whole personality and their preferences, they may feel more intimidated because why? They're holding on to a secret. They're holding on to a secret maybe of shame. There's nothing wrong with being gay, bisexual, pansexual, nothing wrong. But if you've been taught that it's wrong or society makes it feel like you're different, you know, everyone talks about be unique, be yourself, be authentic. But when you're in those younger years, it can be very scary to be different. Why? One is because we are a species knows that for our survival, we do better in groups. For our survival, we do better in communities. And so trying to fit into community is hardwired into our subconscious mind and to our very DNA of survival. That's why so many people hide their sexuality because it's not quite, a, in some places of the world, they'll kill you. Flat out, Americans, remember, people are dying every day all over the world because of, of loving another man or another woman. And people in America are still dying. Don't be deceived. And so even though we've gone great strides, we still got to tell the world, stop being stupid. Love is love. The message must still get out. Uh, as I was saying already, this is season two, already before this season even started, they, they overturned Road versus Wade in America. We're not as free as you think, my friends. Clarence Thomas already says he's coming for gay marriage. So if we look like, you know, I get passionate, it's because the moment that you let up, people are people that that are in the majority that feel self-righteous will try to steal your rights. It happens all the time. That's why we stay passionate on this channel, preaching a message of love, sharing a message of love, and protesting and voting uh, for candidates that are going to uh, support human rights everywhere. But back to young people and other people that are you know, hunched down or back, their bodies hurting, it's because they have carried so much shame, so much weight, and this is what I want to talk about, is a lot of people carry weight because they don't feel comfortable in their sexuality. They don't feel comfortable in their identity. They don't feel, and a lot of older people carry weight because they're not being sexual, because they are, you know, in a marriage with a woman when really they're in love with a man. And when one area of your life, especially your sexuality, you can't turn your sexuality off and experience an awesome life. Now, you can choose to be celibate. You can choose for spiritual reasons or whatever the other reasons to not engage in sex. But not engaging in sex 
doesn't mean that you're no longer gay or you're no longer a lesbian. That whole thing that the uh, uh, conservative right says, love the sin, uh, hate the sin, but love the sinner. If you think just because you're not having gay sex or lesbian sex, uh, that, that that doesn't make you means you're no longer gay. You're fooling yourself. You're hating yourself. You're holding on to old ideologies. We are more enlightened to realize that being gay is part of your identity. It is not your sole identity. So I know where some straight people say, oh, you're pushing gay agenda down our throat. No, we're not pushing anything down your throat. We're trying to celebrate every area of our life. And so if you're not celebrating or comfortable in your sexuality, it can show up in your health. It can show up in your health with chronic disease because of inflammation. Stress triggers inflammation. Inflammation kills. Many people that are in the LGBTQI plus community are unhealthy in their body because they're stressed out about their sexuality. And I'm here to tell you, stop stressing and start blessing. You are beautiful. You are wonderful. You're awesome. Gay sex is phenomenal. Just ask my fiance. Anyways, I should take that back. Maybe not gay sex. Sex with Jeremy is phenomenal for at least one person. And uh, that's another story. But anyways, I'm going to keep it PG because we do have younger people that are, are watching this. And it's okay to save yourself from marriage. And it's okay uh, if you want to be, uh, you know, save yourself from marriage. I'm not saying go out and have sex. I'm just saying if you like boys and you're a boy, it's okay. If you like girls and you're a girl, it's okay. If you're a boy and girl and you like both, it's okay. If maybe you're asexual and you don't like anyone, that's okay too. But what is not okay is hiding and not sharing yourself and not caring about yourself. And so we see not caring about ourselves carries over into how we're treating our body. Here in Raising Rainbow, we want you to have the best life, the highest life, the greatest life. And it's hard to have a great life if you're not feeling healthy in your body. And I've already said that chiropractors and doctors have already said that many LGBTQIA people are sick in their body. Why are they sick in their body? Because they're not fully accepting themselves. And so I want to tell you, it's, you know, we see extremes. We see people that, uh, that are really overweight and, and they're just feeding their fear with food. They're anxious, they're nervous or depressed. So they're just overeating, overeating, mindless eating, taking in a bunch of calories and they're getting really big. And then they feel bad because they think nobody was going to be sexually attracted to them. So they eat more and it's just a vicious cycle. Here at Raising Rainbow, I don't care how much you weigh. You're beautiful no matter how much you weigh. But I do know that you may not be healthy. You can be big and beautiful, but not necessarily big and healthy. And you can be skinny and beautiful, but if you're a bulimic or if you're doing things that to harm your body, to stay thin, starve your body, you're beautiful, skinny, but you're not healthy. Here at Raising Rainbow, we want you to be healthy. Healthy equals happiness. Healthy equals happiness. Happy life for everyone starts with a healthy life. Now, I am trying to live what I preach. I'm trying to live what I preach. You see the gym clothes on here. I'm wearing gym clothes. I just got back from the gym. I'm starting season two out, trying to motivate people that you must take accountability for your health. You cannot allow the hatred of people to, to, to make you not go to the gym, make you not begin to try to eat more healthy. You know, last year I lost over 60 pounds, over 60 pounds. It's also kind of curious that, uh, you know, in a lot of ways I was still in the closet. So even though a lot of people knew I was gay, a lot of people still didn't, still didn't know and I wasn't very public all the time with my relationship status. And uh, lots of reasons. Raised conservative. Raised in a very, I would say a cult. But, you know, out of respect to people that believe that way. Um, a very fundamental religious, uh, orthodox, extreme religion. And that stuff plays on you. You don't have to, you know, you, don't, you really don't realize how much stuff from childhood can, can really mess with your mind. And so... Out of a false idea that I was being respectful to family, I wasn't hiding things, but I wasn't fully embracing things in public. And it wasn't until I said, you know what, I am going to be more public about all of me, all of me. You know, I, I'm an astrologer. I, uh, you know, I'm a life coach. I happen to be also a gay 
man in a committed relationship. And what is interesting is once I dealt with the fear of not worrying about parents, grandparents, not worrying about even the economical considerations, people don't realize coming out of the closet, they can fire you for any reason. And uh, so there's a lot of reasons why people don't come out of the closet. Parents, grandparents, church, uh, financial reasons. And so children, wife, husband, lots of reasons why that life can get complicated for an LGBTQI person. Uh, but here at Raising Rainbow, we understand that wherever you are in the process, ultimately you need to come to the light. You need to come to, you are the light. And the only way you shine is by embracing your sexuality. You don't have to get out there and, and necessarily march or tattoo lesbian on your forehead, but you shouldn't actively try to downplay it. Because when you're trying to downplay things, not have your picture up with your partner, not talk about your partner by their name, saying my husband, my wife, my girlfriend, my boyfriend. When you do things to consciously keep things vague, it can allow you to hold on to weight because I've seen it over and over again. Things that we hide means there's something usually we're hating about ourselves or something we feel rejected about ourselves. When I began to truly go out and enjoy my sexuality and, and be proud of it and knowing that I'm a decent, loving human being, not, uh, proud of my sexuality, not because I'm gay, proud because I'm a compassionate, loving partner. I'm a faithful, loyal partner. I'm a... Uh, you know, these things and, and, and let the world know that's when I personally was able to really get into the gym and lose the weight. Uh, I had, maybe I'll show a before and after picture. Um, but I had struggled with weight for over 25, 30 years. And so I would say I'm about 10 pounds away from my healthy ideal weight. I lost 60, got about another 10 to go feeling great. Got muscles now, got all of this. Uh, but I realize that being healthy with the food I eat, being healthy with exercise and walking, it was also helping me in my mental life. So if you struggle with mental illness, if you struggle with depression, if you struggle with, you know, aches and pains in your body, probably one of the best things you can do is to begin to walk. I started off walking an hour a day. First of all, it was 20 minutes around the block then a half an hour, then an hour a day. And you can, you know, Adele, the singer, remember, uh, you know, everybody knows Adele. If you don't know Adele, you've been under a rock. Go look her up. I love her. She's got a great voice. Uh, Hello from the other side. Anyways, whatever Adele song you like, um, uh, she says she lost lots of weight by walking an hour a day. I would almost say if you're struggling with your sexuality, if you're struggling with fitting in, if you're struggling with feeling confident, start walking. Even if you're skinny right now, if you're struggling with your sexuality, start walking. Because walking is a great way to work out nervous energy. Walking is a great way to almost meditate. Many people don't realize our mind's overthinking, but when you get into a steady pace of walk, you kind of calm down you may still be thinking, but the thoughts start to become more focused. And so, of course, meditation is good. Meditating, chanting, praying. You know, we here at Raising Rainbow do believe that there's a spiritual connection. But I can tell you this, that if you're putting poison into your body, it's going to poison your thoughts. It's going to poison your mood. It's going to poison, you know, your, your, your body itself. So here at Raising Rainbow, we want to tell you, coming into this second season, besides embracing your sexuality, it's time to embrace your best health. Go ahead, quit the smoking. You don't need it. Quit the drugs. Quit the drinking. You know, <clears throat> I'm not saying you can't ever have a drink or you can't ever do, you know, whatever your recreational stuff is, but I am saying don't be abusing your body because your heart is hurting. Don't be abusing your body because you feel maybe rejected by family and friends. The first step to loving yourself, like I said, start walking, start going to the gym, start exercising. If you know, you know, there's all kinds of stuff out there on how to get better healthy. Now, I know there's going to be a lot of people in the LGBTQIA+ all the way through that will say 
Your looks don't matter. It don't matter. It don't matter. And that does need to be preached. Looks are beautiful. Not everyone's going to be a thinny, skinny mini. And, and Hollywood is not really the right definition of what is normal healthy. But at the same time, a lot of people in our community have thrown health away. Now, also, some of our community, though, is on the opposite side. They're too body conscious. That's why you see a lot of older gay men get depressed. You know, women like, oh, you don't know what it's like to be a woman. God bless women. I don't know what it's like. But you don't know what it's like to be a gay man above 30. And if you're not in a relationship, you know, a lot of people are very, you know, you know, you think men that judge women's body get into the gay culture. There's a lot of judging, a lot of judging. So I'm not saying this is not about necessarily losing weight and not necessarily about, you know, your do you got a beach body, but it is about your health. It is about your health. And there is a mind, body and soul connection. And if you can start exercising, if you can start putting energy into trying to get healthier, you'll see that it will affect your mood, it will affect your heart, it will affect your life. I, I tell people, you get healthy in your body and you'll see the other areas of your life begin to prosper. You'll see the other areas of your life begin to open up because it translates over into other things. You feel healthier in your body, you're gonna be more confident. Healthy in your body, you're gonna be more happy. Healthy in your body, you're gonna be more clear thinking. So these are a lot of great issues. So right in the season two, I'm going to tell you, start embracing your body now. So this isn't about, oh, I'm 60. You know, I had to be happy at 60 pounds, meaning I had to love myself to lose the weight, but I had to love myself and also exercise. So I'm not telling you that you should hate yourself and be like, you're fat, you're ugly, or you're too skinny. or that. I'm not saying that. Hate is never the way. You need to accept yourself fully. Change actually is kind of funny. The paradox, the great paradox is by accepting yourself fully right now, you can make a change. Also, I'm gonna tell you, you can have love at any size, whether you're a big man, big woman, little woman, it doesn't matter. The right person's gonna love you. The right person's gonna love you. And, uh, you know, but at the same time, you need to get off the chair, get off the sofa, you need to put the chips down and commit to loving yourself. How you're wanting someone to love you so bad, but you're not even loving yourself. Well, I do love myself. No, no, because you're you're not putting in the effort to make sure your temple. You know, there, there's an old scripture in the Bible. Not that I believe the Bible literally, but there's an old saying that goes, uh, "Your body is the temple of God, the temple of the universe, the temple of the spirit," and you know, respect it. And so I'm saying, start today in whatever little way, whether it's just walking a half an hour, going to the gym two or three times a week, you know, putting, you know, switching some of the things. There's thousands and thousands of different ways to lose weight, thousands of lifting weights, gaining muscles. There's thousands of stuff out there. YouTube it free. But at Raising Rainbow, I can promise you this. If you start committing more time to your health, you will see your wealth rise, your happiness rise, your consciousness rise. Raising rain is about raising our consciousness, becoming expanded. If you're feeling sick in your body, if you're eating too much processed food or eating things that are unhealthy, it's gonna weigh you down. You're not gonna have the energy to be the agent of change that we're calling upon you young people. We still have a long ways to go for equality in the world. We need your energy, but we also need your positivity. And if you're eating way too much junk and you're not getting enough water and enough movement, then you're not going to be able to tap into the higher energies. Honest to God, low sluggish energies down here, high energies up here. And I'm not saying drink energy drinks because that could throw you down. A high for it's a fake high, but then you crash. You want natural high, a natural high. I'm not saying that either. A natural high from exercising, sweating, drinking water, eating your fruits and vegetables. Listen, I promise you, you're worth it. You're worth it. You're worth it. If I could lose 60 pounds in a year, I know you can. But love yourself right now. Love yourself right now. And say, it doesn't matter what I look like, what I feel like. I'm going to start the journey of health because I'm worth it. 
All right, everyone. Thank you for watching Raising Rainbow. This is season number two. We're going to have more people to interview. We're going to have more empowering things. And for those that are in the States, make sure that you're voting. Well, you know, it's my channel. You need to vote for people that are going to codify gay marriage. November 2022 is coming up when we're going to have the midterm elections. You cannot blame the president if we don't have a Senate. We got 50. We need more than the 50 Senate Democrats. We need more. Now, I'm a progressive. I don't always agree with Democrats. But I'm going to say this as a rant. I don't care what you think about the economics or what you think about your business, which the idea that Republicans are better for business, I don't believe. But whatever. Maybe you're a Republican. You're welcome on the channel. But we got to get unified right now. And we got to vote in people that are going to protect gay marriage, that are going to protect LGBTQI community. And the Republicans have clearly shown in this era, this Republican Party will do everything it can to avoid the real issues and make up fake issues against our community. So make sure you're registered to vote. Make sure you are voting for people that are going to protect our rights and expand, not just protect. We need our rights expanded. We need gay people to be able to adopt in every state. We need people not to be able to be fired because they're gay. We need more. So just because you think that we got stuff, we got a longer way to go. But right now we got to get serious about protecting the community. So go out there and vote. Uh, you're conscious. And I hope your conscious is like, you know what, whatever the other issue, the most important issues is that LGBTQI people are free to live their life as they see fit. All right, everyone. Go get your foods, vegetables, all that good stuff. And we'll see you in the next episode coming too. Season two.